All right, so today, simple task at hand. My uh, arrows I was building for my New Brunswick bear hunt. The more I shot them, the more I thought they were shooting stiff shot through paper. That was the case. And I'm switching down to 175 grain points and 100 grain insert, shooting 400s versus 340s. So what I need to do for the arrows I'm just going to practice with until I go, I have these arrows I had previously made. Uh, it's a standard insert and a 250 grain point. So I figured this would be a good time to show how to remove hot melt glued in inserts from an axis. Uh, this works with pretty much any carbon. Uh, I've had basically no issues doing it this way, so just as a disclaimer, I mean, if you do it, obviously, you're at your own risk. Uh, sorry about my desk, this is my podcasting slash work desk. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and take this insert out. All you basically need is I like to have a thing of water, propane torch, and the world's best pair of pliers, which is the Leatherman. And then I'll go ahead and show you how I glue them in as well. So I need my hit insert and installer and my hot melt. This is a Big Jim's Bow Company hot melt, freaking awesome. So obviously first step, turn the torch on, make sure you're in a safe area. And uh, basically all you're gonna do, get a field point, smaller the quicker this goes. This is a 250 grain point, so uh, not super quick. What you're going to do is you're going to warm up the field point and it's going to transfer the heat into the insert. And uh, what I like to do is periodically as you're warming it up is to just give it a bit of a tug and see if you're there yet. That way it's in the heat as little as possible. As you can tell I've already taken, taken one out. So. Nope, not quite there yet. There we go. First thing I like to do, dip the arrow, get that as cool as quick as possible. And then I dip my field point and insert combination, getting that cooled down, put that on a safe spot. And then I don't get too carried away with making sure it's dry in there. I've never really had an issue. Uh, make sure your hit installer is at least somewhat clean. That's the only thing that kind of sucks with the hot melt is it all it gets all over it. So I put my arrow underneath the left armpit super glue or uh, hot melt right hand. Insert left hand I, I with the 100 grain that you can hold right onto it because it's long enough. But come into your torch at a safe angle. Heat up the glue. And then I like to make sure I get an even coating of glue all the way around because the one thing you can't do with the hit insert installer is you can't rotate it as you insert it so got a good bead of glue all the way around there I don't know if that's focusing or not maybe good enough and then uh, give it a couple passes through the torch shove it in there I like to rotate a little bit pull it out dip the arrow and you are good to go and then the nice thing when you have your arrows footed you get this big ball of hot melt when your arrows footed it just pops right off normally of course this is the most difficult one I've had in a while but your little ring right into the garbage and then you have a glued in insert and my personal luck I've had with insert glue is they pretty much all suck so may as well use hot melt so you can reverse it easily play tinker whatever you like to do so hope that helps somebody if it does leave a comment if not sorry